why the Broncos become so popular is because it takes five minutes um, and you need no equipment. And so a yo-yo still requires a speaker or, or a, some some um, some audio, okay? So, I mean, it might only be a Yui boom, but you need a speaker. Um, and, and typically, um, you know, you need to measure something out, whereas the Bronco, you don't really need to you use it you do it on a rugby field um so i think yes we do use a yo-yo and we did do some comparisons a, a few years back to show that the yo-yo score is pretty similar or correlates highly to the bronco so if you do a good yo-yo um no shit shoe like you do a good bronco you know they both show you that your your aerobic and aerobic type fitness is pretty similar um um i think the 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 yo-yo probably gives you a better indication of ability to repeat high high speed um shuttles or efforts whereas the bronco is just a grind um so yeah we have used it in the past we've stopped using it because it's time consuming and teams clubs um tend to not have the time um to implement i'll tell you a little bit i'll tell you actually a bit of background about all that actually the um yeah, we used to, a long time ago, 20 years ago, we used to do a test called the phosphate decrement test, which was a PDT. Um, it was 10 40-meter sprints. And I think it was a 30-second recovery. Um, it was something like that, really short turnaround. And it showed us repeatability of, of speed or speed endurance. Um, we also used to test speed and we used to test yo-yo. And what we found was that the PDT gave us no more information than the yo-yo and the speed okay so the speed we find you can run fast the yo-yo showed us or correlated well to your fatigue score in the pdt so we decided we'd stop doing a pdt because we would we we're basically doing more tests to get the same information so we reduced the ability of um repeating 10 by 40 meter sprints which produced a number of injuries as well around the country um so we did that and we did a similar process with the yo-yo versus bronco where we were doing both so the the all blacks were being tested and the the age group teams or or teams in black were being tested on a yo-yo um and then everyone else was being tested on a bronco and we found that the correlation was was so similar um if you were unfit you got a poor bronco or a poor yo-yo if you're fit you got a good bronco or a good yo-yo so rather than do both we went with the um, most convenient test that could be repeated easily within a rugby season or across a year um, while still getting the same information. That's awesome because, <clears throat> to be fair, there's a few people on social media, I won't name names to give them credit, but they've kind of thrown shade at, at using the Bronco and, and, and called it out. So that, I think, was some really great rationale to explain why, maybe reasons they hadn't thought of. Yeah, well, I think I think if you were um, if if you were <laughs> if you were locked in a lab or you were a scientist, a true scientist with a lab coat on, um, I would be doing the same. It's not a great test for um, to give us like pe people would call it specificity, okay. Um, but it's it's you know when you're talking about applied testing in the field specificities of no value if you can only do it once a year and i think that's where the broncos um become so popular is because you can do it so easily within a within a normal rugby training session coaches don't mind it's five minutes it's not 20 minutes um you know you can do it within a rugby season it doesn't impact on performance there's no risk i think the number of injuries that i've seen in a bronco test would be you know lucky if it's one percent um you know and and so i think that there are I'll, i wouldn't i wouldn't debate that there's um weaknesses in uh, uh, putting all your eggs in one basket on a bronco but uh from an applied setting and a repeatability it ticks all the boxes um you know if we were wanted to get nitty-gritty you'd be doing a, a, an integral mental t treadmill test you'd be testing lactate you'd be assessing max heart rate you'd be doing all sorts of things 
Um, but it's so unrealistic in a rugby setting, it's not funny. 